up kingdom kids it's your girl yada and i'm here with a word from our good father yes your father has sent me with another word y'all i don't know who need this but god says somebody need this message so i come through to bless the kingdom okay listen if you're new here hi welcome 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 we welcome you to be a part of this family so don't leave without hitting that subscribe button that way you never miss a video okay and if this message blesses you in any way feel free to hit the like button and if the holy spirit leads you to don't leave without comment or sharing the video okay we definitely want to share the video guys we want to make sure this reaches whomever the lord intends for it to reach amen all right now family listen i have already prayed and welcome the lord in welcome the holy spirit in father i still ask that you use me speak through me lord jesus i'm your vessel god speak to your children make sure this word is delivered the way that you intended in jesus name amen all right y'all listen i don't know who needs this word but i wasn't gonna drop this okay i wasn't gonna drop this word because remember i said i thought a word and god told me no right <laughs> But um, God says somebody still needed this word, right? It just wasn't the kingdom spouse word. So whoever this is for, I pray that this thing reaches you and I pray that it blesses you. Amen. Still get the word back before God in prayer and test his spirit family. But whoever this is for, you're going to know this word is for you, okay? God said be very careful asking for help. I don't know who you are, okay, or what God has you doing. But whoever you are, God say, be very careful asking for help. Okay, listen to me. You are on a God-given assignment. Right? As kingdom kids, we're on a God-given assignment, y'all. He said, you're on a God-given assignment. You have to know that he knows what part or what season requires assistance. Okay? You have to remember that God knows when we need help. And trust me, when you need help, you won't have to ask. Baby, Adam didn't have to ask for Eve. Okay, when God knows you need, remember, God is on time. And he's a provider. Baby, he gonna provide help on time. Amen? God say, y'all to tell him, I'm a provider and I'm on time. Come on now. Therefore, I will provide your assistance on time. I don't know who you are, but God say you're going to mess around. You, you're going to mess around. Listen, you out there looking for help to run that race. God say you're going to mess around and run into some hurdles. Okay? You're going to have stuff to jump over. You're going to be working, working. Okay? Putting in work you don't have to even put in. Okay? Like, this is how he gave it to me, y'all. Y'all know, like, like as a parent, you better ask your kids to clean the kitchen, right? And then you go back, the dishes dirty, the water's everywhere, all that. You're like, I could have just did this myself. And that's God is saying, God is saying, baby, don't go trying to add people to the team. Do you hear me? He said, because you listen, it can go from hard to horrible real quick. Do you hear me? With the wrong people on your team, baby, God said things can go from hard to horrible real quick. Okay, you know how like, like a like a woman will be like, oh, cause I need a man here to take out my trash, just down third. And then you get in a relationship with a guy and he ain't taking out trash. He ain't doing it. Listen, you doing more more than what you were doing before he was there. I'm telling you, God's saying, baby, don't try to go around me. If God told you to do this season, if he told you to do this part of your assignment by yourself, his word is just and unchanging. You will do this by yourself. Okay, his word is just and unchanging, baby. Don't go picking up no problems trying to get help. All right, I'm telling y'all, God said, baby, I send help when you need it. Okay, I don't know who this is for, but God said, baby, be very careful out there looking for some help. He said, you're going to bend a took off more than you plan. You're looking for. You're going to get more than you're looking for, baby. It's your cross, carry it. Okay, it is your cross, carry it. Amen. I don't know who this is for, but if you feel like that, you like, God, you always giving me a whooping. I'm sorry, y'all, but hey, this is what the Lord said. Listen, but if you feel that thing in the spirit and you know you've been trying to get people to help you with something God's been doing with you, come on, somebody just say, God is heavy, but I'll carry it. I know this cross is heavy. It's heavy, but Lord, I'll carry it. I can't afford for nothing else. <laughs> I don't need nothing added to it. Come on, somebody say, God is heavy, but I'll carry it. In Jesus' name, listen, baby, you better carry that cross. You better carry that cross and know your father. If your father think you need help, baby, he gonna send it. You won't have to ask. Come on now. I know it's heavy. I know it is not easy. But carry that thing, baby. You don't want to be out there looking for help and you find, listen, baby, it can go from hard to horrible. 
Amen. Let me give y'all some scripture and I'm going to let y'all go, okay? So God led us to 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles 10, verses 3 through 14. Y'all go back and read it. If you didn't go back and read it, okay? Verses 10, oh, I'm sorry, chapter 10, 3 through 14. So this is what happened, y'all. So y'all know I told y'all that um, Jeroboam, he had came back, right? He returned from Egypt because he found out that Solomon was dead, right? So when he came back, he came back to um, ask Solomon's son to lighten the load, the burden that um, Solomon had put on him, right? Had put on them. But um, so when he go and ask the um, son... The son is like, yo, come back in three days and I'll let you know. So he goes and asks the elders. He's like, yo, should I, what should I do? And they tell him, well, be kind to the people so they can serve you. He like, no, he rejects it. And so he goes to the young man and he asks them who he grew up with. Okay. And he asked them, um, what should he do? And they like, you know what? Since they asked you to lighten the burden, you should make it heavier. Okay. Tell him my daddy waist wasn't as big as my finger and. You know, like he, they, they were serious. They was like, tell him we gonna make it heavier. And my daddy whipped, uh, uh, scored y'all with whips. I'm gonna score y'all with scorpions. Okay, I'm talking about from bad to worse. All right, so I'm telling y'all, God is saying right now, be careful who you're asking for help. Cause they went and asked for help with something that father had put on them. Right? He said, can you help me with something your father ordered me? God say, don't be out here asking for help with his assignments. When you need help, he will send it. Don't try to go around your father. I'm telling you, if this is your race to run, baby, run that race. You better try to go help, look for help, baby, and run into a bunch of hurdles. Now you working, working, baby. You overworking yourself, things jumping up. You got to jump past stuff at, at random. God is saying, just run your waist, baby. It is your cross. Carry it. Okay, don't be looking for nobody to make things easier for you when you need help, when you require help, because, you know, because sometimes we won't help. When you require help, know that your father is a provider. He will provide help. Amen. All right, y'all, listen, I don't know who needs this thing, but I pray that this thing reaches you. I pray that it comforts you, and I pray that it blesses you. All right, listen, I love y'all with the love of God, family. Listen, y'all go out and live a blessed life. You know, the blessed life comes from first being a blessing.